Time now for Brunswick Chamber Highlights on ATMC Television Channel 3. Bringing you the best of Brunswick. Good day, Brunswick County. I'm Kathy Altman, President of the Brunswick County Chamber of Commerce and your host of Brunswick Chamber Highlights. Our show will feature the aspects of why Brunswick County is a premier place to live, work, and play. Today's guests include Linda Rumsey with Communities and Schools, Tom Heron and Connie Ross Carl from the Sun Cruz Aquacino, and Dot Her with the Brunswick County Literacy Council. Let's first welcome Linda Rumsey. Linda, welcome to the show today. Oh, thanks for inviting me, Kathy. We're so glad to have you with us. Pleased to be here. Let's talk a little bit about your background with communities and schools, as mo most people might know it, by CIS. Mm -hmm. What is your position with communities and schools, and how long have you been part of it? Okay. I'm director of the adopt -a school and volunteer program, and I've been with communities and schools about two and a half years now. And you, um, you work with volunteers, and so you're always seeking new volunteers as well. Always, always. You just can't have enough. And tell us about the different kinds of programs that you need volunteers for. Well, right now, because we have three new thrift shops in the area, um, we are always looking for volunteers for our thrift shops, whether it's once a week or once a month or whatever fits someone's schedule. Um, if they'd like to come in and uh, donate a little bit of their time, that would be great. We're always looking for help there. So there are three thrift stores in the area. We have one in Sunset Beach, one in Southport, and one in Boiling Spring Lakes. And they're wonderful stores. I've been to two of the, uh, the locations. I have not had a chance to go to Boiling Spring Lakes yet, but the, the merchandise is always phenomenal. I've purchased many items as gifts there too. and for myself. <laughs> yeah. um, but now CIS uses the thrift stores as a revenue source. Yes, they do help to fund our programs. And you have so many programs too. Uh, in talking earlier, I just realized uh, the Buddy Lunch program or Lunch Buddy. Lunch Buddy. Lunch Buddy, Lunch buddy program. Uh, it's a great program for elementary uh, schools and they're looking for volunteers who are willing to come in. It's about a 30 minute time period and I always ask them to come in with a smile, a sense of humor and a simple lunch. Well you know there may be uh, some of our viewers out there that don't have children in school anymore but they might miss that because I know I used to go and have lunch with my son when he was in grade school and you know it's always so good and the kids love to have adults there. They really do. They really do and you don't have to worry about what am I going to say because the kids are going to be asking you questions. Why'd you come? <laughs> exactly. Now that's just one program that CIS uh, manages. What other programs are there, Linda? Well, we have um, a need for mentors in our middle schools right now. We're looking for um, people who would make a commitment of coming once a week and spending about 30 minutes during a lunch period with some of our middle, middle school students, our at-risk students. Now let's welcome Tom Heron and Connie Ross Carl. Tom, Connie, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having us. We're delighted to be here. Tell us all about the Sun Cruz Aquacino in beautiful, historic <laughs> Little River, South Carolina. That little fishing village? That down? little fishing village. Know it well. Well, um, it's hard to even know where to start. People have probably been hearing about the new Sun Cruz Aquacino ship. And really, I think it's fair to call it a ship rather than a boat. It's a ship. It's, uh, it's about 230 feet long and 50-some feet wide. And uh, uh, In fact, people are fond of saying that it's really a floating casino rather than a boat with a casino Absolutely. shoved inside of it. You Absolutely. Know? I was able to attend the grand opening last year. Well, actually, it was just a few months ago. Beautiful, beautiful facility, wonderful staff people. Um, you know, I think it'd be a lot of fun to go out on the Sun Cruz Aquacino. Well, and the grand opening was a Connie Ross Carl production, I'll <laughs> tell you. It was a lot of fun. We were, we had 
I think, what, a thousand people showed yeah, up at and the we party. we really appreciated your help. You, you taught us all the meaning of a champagne toast. Absolutely. For the that ship. Was so you, much you participated in the christening, which was the big event, and thank you again. Well, thank you for letting me be part of it. I know all the chambers in the area came together to help celebrate the grand opening, but let's hear more about the schedule when the, uh, the ship leaves uh, the port and, and about the amenities that are available to the passengers. It, it's hard to know where to begin and the two of us will sort of just chime Absolutely. in. Right. But Absolutely. I think, um, <clears throat> with the exception of Mondays right now at this time of year, uh, we sail twice daily. Uh, weekdays it's 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. The cruise is about five hours long. Um, and then um, Mondays we don't sail during the day off season. Uh, weekends we leave at noon and come back at about five and still leave at seven o'clock oh, at night. Okay. So it works out really, really nice. Um, it's an adventure. I mean, uh, first of all, if you enjoy gaming, if you enjoy gambling, whether it's whatever game it is, and we have all of them, we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, that's fantastic because there's nowhere to do that, you know, legally in, in anywhere near here. Um, so, so that's a great treat for people. It's a lot of fun to do that, especially if you get lucky enough to win some. Absolutely. Uh, and plus you offer really great food. There's a hot chef prepared full course buffet on every single on cruise. On every cruise. Can you imagine? And we, and we can hold up to 600 people on that ship. 600 people And we get a lot time. of compliments on our food. So, you know, we're just delighted to offer that as well as live entertainment. Live and, entertainment yes. also, every, every day, cruise. every single cruise, cruise every that day, twice a day, and you know, we do that consistency, consistently, and it, you know, we have all sorts of other activities. First of all, it is a stunning scenic cruise. We go 45 minutes in and out of the Little River waterway, and it is just absolutely gorgeous, and inside, it's everything you love about Las Vegas, right, Tom? It sure is. <laughs> and joining us now is Dot Her. Dot, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. We're so glad to have you. You are the new executive director for the Brunswick County Literacy Council. That's correct. Just a few months now. October 1st. October 1st. Mm -hmm. And as we're headed into the, uh, the end of 2010, beginning of 2011, I know that you probably have some very lofty goals for the Literacy Council. Mm -hmm. Kind of share with us what your vision is and what you're in need of. Okay. First of all, the, the main, our mission is to reach those in Brunswick County from the ages of 16 and older that n cannot read at a level above fourth grade. So last year we reached out to 60 people and my goal is to increase that to 100 in 2011. Doing that with uh, reading classes, math classes, also writing classes but also looking out more for life skills, such as many of these people have been out of school for a long time and they need a refresher on study skills. So we're going to hold a class on study skills for them. Also computer skills. Um, so those are just a few of the things we have besides our adult literacy class and also English as a second language. Along with those, of course, we need students. So. I would ask the people in Brunswick County that may have a family member or an employer that may have someone that they know of to help them feel comfortable in coming to us. That's the biggest problem, walking through the door the first walking time. Walking through the door. Now, I was really shocked at the percentage of people, residents in Brunswick County, over the age of 16. Mm -hmm. Share with us that percentage. How many people cannot read? It's 51% that cannot read above a fourth grade level. And, you know, reading is such an essential part of, of a job, getting a job, or mm -hmm. going, going to, to places of worship and reading the Bible, or reading to your child, or, or reading is such mm -hmm. an essential part of everyday life. Mm -hmm. And the Literacy Council, that's your mission, is to reach out to those folks right. and bring them in mm -hmm. and help them learn to read.